What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel and pretty much in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick little what's in my wallet. Um, I guess this is a video I see as popular on YouTube. Thought I'd go ahead and give it a try and let you guys and show you guys um, you know what is in my wallet here. Alright so if you are new to this channel welcome. Pretty much on this channel we talk about how to build and leverage your credit. We also talk about a little financial education, financial literacy and as well as real estate. All right guys, so for starters, the wallet that I have is the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organizer. Let's, let me see if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's a pretty small wallet. It holds about five or six cards. Uh, the reason why I like this wallet is because of the durability and the quality. It's very fine canvas leather. Oh yeah, and it also has like a little middle compartment here. You can put a couple cards in there. But yeah guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video uh, on what's in my wallet. So the first card, Probably the card I use the most often, or one of the cards, is going to be my Apple card. So it's this deal right here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Ugh. Let's see if I cover this light up. There we go. <laughs> so this is the first card I use pretty much um, a lot. It's like one of my daily cards. Um, it's the Apple card made out of titanium. You know, you guys can hear that. Pretty much, I did a video and review of this card uh, about a week or two ago. Uh, but just a kind of a brief summary, this card is 1% cash back on most purchases, 2% cash back when you use your Apple wallet, and 3% cash back when you go to the Apple store and use the card. It's not bad, it just kind of forces you to, if you want to maximize the cash back, you got to buy stuff at the Apple store, and it's not a place I really see myself shopping a lot. So I just use this kind of card, I just use this card to kind of flex a little bit, I hate to say it, but it's a really good flex card um, and it's just kind of easy to use with my wallet. It's easy to pay off the balance. You can pay it off daily and you see all the transactions, your numbers and stuff. So I just like it because of the, just the, the convenience that it has for paying it off and seeing all my transactions and things like that. So the second card that I have, I'm not going to show you guys my debit cards. They don't have any type of rewards or anything. Uh, they're just debit cards. But the second card I have is going to be, let me cover up the number my Hilton Honors American Express card. Um, this card's really good for cash back and rewards as far as accumul accumulating points to use towards travel, use towards flights, uh, hotels especially, um, concert tickets. I, I think with being an Amex card holder, you get like a exclusive access or you get the first dibs on a lot of concert tickets, which is really cool. But yeah, this card, Amex Hilton Honors, uh, the card is really good for accumulating points just because there's so many offers that the card has. It's like for almost every store. They have Walmart, they have Target, um, Olive Garden, you know, a whole bunch of restaurants, food places, uh, a whole bunch of retail stores. So I like using the card for, uh, you know, when I go out shopping, get groceries, or I just go to the mall, buy a couple shirts or whatever. The card is really good for that. And I have another card in here. Let me get it real quick. So this card is my Sapphire Preferred, my Chase Sapphire Preferred card. It's like, uh, it's a weird kind of, it's not, um, it's not necessarily metal, but it's, it's pretty much thick like it. You guys can kind of hear it. Uh, it's designed to be like metal, uh, but it's, it's not really true metal material. But I really like this card as well. I use this card mainly for my e-commerce business. Um, just because if I were to use this as my daily card, I wouldn't be able to maximize the most benefits out of it. Since in my e-commerce business, I spend about um, $100 to $200 a day just, you know, inventory, um, shipping, buying products, you know, and, and things like that, invoices. So this card is great for that because I rack up a healthy amount of points just using it for my daily expenses for my e-commerce business. And this card is really good for cash back. The points you can either um, you know exchange your points for cash back. You can use it for um, hotels, trips, traveling, and it's really good because this card has just as many offers, if not more, as the Hilton Honors card. As far as you know, you're shopping for retail like um, let's see, Amazon, uh, Petco, Chewy, especially. Uh, let's see, this is like you know HEB. Kind of the same as the Hilton Honors card, but this card is really great for my e-commerce business. I can spend a lot and maximize the amount of points and the cash back, the rewards that I would like to get out of the card. And just to kind of show you guys what the wallet looks like one more time. Again, it's the Louis Vuitton pocket holder, pocket organizer, whatever you want to call it. There we go. 
Now, some people might say, you know, Brandon, why would you go ahead and get a $300 wallet? The reason why I got this wallet, it was a little expensive, yes, but I, uh, a lot of people don't know this about me, I am huge on wallets. Uh, anyone, my close friends, my families know, you know, I have about four or five different wallets. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and show you guys the amount of wallets I just have in my backpack. Hold on. Four wallets in my bag. I have this one here is my main wallet, the one I, I like to use the most. Um, <laughs> I have this wallet here. It's a little dirty. This one's called the Infinity Wallet. It is literally just like some, it's just a band. It's literally just a band to hold your cards. They have like these little slots here. So you guys can see that. Little slots here to put your cards in. Uh, this wallet was literally like eight bucks on Amazon. Um, I liked this wallet when I had it just because I only had like three or four cards. Super easy to manage, but as more as like, the more cards I got, uh, the more likely I was to use this wallet. It just wasn't helpful. So I have that one. I have this wallet here. It's another card wallet. This one was from Starbucks. And surprisingly, the leather and the material on this is really, really durable. It was 13 bucks, literally at Starbucks. You guys can see the emblem, emblem there, the little logo. Uh, but I liked using this wall just because it was it's very flexible, has this cool little yellow interior, uh, and the metal is, is actually really good high quality. And then I have this wallet here. I used to use this wallet a lot. Um, has a majority of my other cards in here. I still use it um, for other things and stuff, but I this one probably cost maybe 40 bucks on Perry Ellie. Yeah, it's a Perry Ellie wallet, super inexpensive. Um, I mean, I've been using these wallets since high school. They're just high quality. They look, you know, pretty sleek, pretty fashionable, whatever. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. I'm sorry it wasn't a whole lot. It wasn't super long, but that's pretty much what is in my wallet. I don't have a ton of stuff as I like to minimize the things that I carry, the weight of the wallets, you know, what's in my pocket. But I just have a few cards mainly are going to be used for my e-commerce business, my daily uh, expenses, and also just like maximizing on my uh, my cash back, my rewards, um, you know, my membership points on my Amex card for hotels and flights and stuff. So I get those discounts and whatnot. And if you found value out of this video, if you have any questions as well, feel free to drop me a comment below or follow me on Instagram. Uh, that's a really quick way to reach out to me. So be sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel below. Join the family. We would love to have you here. Uh, and like I said, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you guys. If you guys are interested in any of the cards that I mentioned here, I'll be sure to just leave you guys a link below so you can kind of check it out to see if those cards are for you or not. But thank you guys for staying for another video, especially if you watched to the end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.